Hello, hello. Yes, again, we're here with Torox, and it seems the uh, tax collector has been getting to him because he's got no money anymore. Pretty sure at some stage I had like, I don't know, 100,000 gold or something like that. Down to 4,000. So it's time to get him to tell the tax office to get sodded and actually go and wreck some stuff. So we better do that because we need some money. So. Now, Goros's uh, army here is a bit crap. That's alright. Gonna get him to start fighting the Bretonians anyway. Let's join somebody's war because I don't really want to have to go to war with Reichland as well. I don't think that would be the most healthy of choices. Enter then. Are you after a drink? No. When, it, when it comes to food, I don't make the healthiest choice healthiest of choices anyway, but you know. Yeah, he, he might come to come join some wars with us, but yeah. Oh, did I just actually do that? I did, didn't I? Yeah. I picked Reichland instead of Bretonia. Yeah, my ability to be crap continues. Uh. Oh well, we well just uh, we may as well just declare war on Bretonia then. You go to war with everyone. Why not? Doesn't matter now. <laughs> oh dear. All right, now Kazrak One Eye. Also needs uh, quite a bit of um, oh geez, it does not not a lot of uh, magic here, so that's not good. Um, he also needs quite a bit of uh, what do you call it? Uh, help getting better. That'll do. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about now. Talk amongst yourselves, I've got nothing. Oh, jeez. That was a shocker. Let's just end up going to war with everyone instead. Yeah. Alright, so, Kazrak One Eye. Now, let's see, all of these guys start off hidden so they can just sort of hang about in the middle of the field without too many issues bunch of other guys that do not though so what we need to do is try to get them in positions where they will be hidden if they can hide behind a single tree no that's not gonna work let's see if we can pop them over here see this is quite a dense wood and you still can't hide in it apparently why not is it because you suck i reckon it's because you suck Shh. stupid war dog things Let's uh, see if we can pop them here. They might not actually be within shooting of towers there. Now over here is where I'm going to have these guys. I'm going to bring them all the way up here. Because none of them can hide either. So we sort of hide them off in the corner here outside of the uh, tower. Hopefully that works. We'll see. Alright, we've got winds. We're hidden there, not. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's on his chariot, which I didn't actually mean him to be on, but whatever. We just have to deal with these things. Can't worry too much about them. All right, so they're all going to be within. Within tower there, so that sucks because apparently we can't go off into that corner. So what we need to do is try and take out the archers. The archers are the ones that are the real problem here. Uh, 
guys. Archers tend to be... We need a bunch of our magic to try and get rid of as many of them as possible. And we'll have Kazrak just tank the towers a bit. It looked like it affected the bowmen on the walls. That's not very good. It'd work a lot better if I could actually, you know, regen, but we'll just have to accept tower damage, unfortunately, I think. Right, let's make sure we've got those bowmen in this time. They're all glowing red, that's good. Always a good sign. I prefer them not to be taking so much damage from the tower. It'd be too, too useful in the actual battle once we get to grips with them. Oh well. If we ever get to grips with them at this rate, come on. Why don't towers run out of ammo, damn it? No, at least enemy towers. My towers should never, never run out of ammo. Still just taking tower damage. I do have the forces where I could actually take the walls, but... I think it might be time for direct assault to happen. Send the doggies across and the minotaurs in. Send them in as well. Now this does not actually hurt your own troops. Minotaurs, why are you just standing there? Go under and into the doors, please. Kazrak, you may as well get into that as well. We still have vast numbers sitting back here, which is fine. We'll pull these Ungors forward, though. Excellent. Minotaurs and doggies. Get them to grips with all of this. Kazrak, you want to get in here as well. It's good. Don't have to worry about that at the moment. So let's get on him. <clears throat> good, good. All right, let's get some more assistance on the walls. So it can't hurt, eh? Hey. Down on the ground, we're doing pretty well. Might as well finish off him. Uh, 
Now, send the doggies in there if we can. Get them to engage before they get on the walls. Doggies are better than getting the others involved. Just because they are small. I'm not going to worry about getting the Angor Raiders involved in this. I don't think we really need them. Yeah, men are armed with shields, but they do have two units of Knights of the Realm who are anti-large. foot squires here. They'll probably take a bit of a beating before they get the Minotaurs into them. Get Kazrak in there as well. He'll help out. He's a good boy. Alright, let's, let's get them down here now. And we'll turn off their auto fire though. Most of their infantry is now dealt with. Let's send some reinforcements that direction. The more we send there, the better. The Angor Raiders in here. So we might be able to use them. So in my opinion, this isn't the best way to go and take a bunch of walls. Because you generally take a lot more damage. Now, they're spearmen, but they're not braced. And there we go. Yeah. Lovely. Sorted them out nicely. Minotaurs are good for that sort of thing. Great shock troops. Especially ones with two handed weapons. Bit of an uneven fight to go here. Just the way the Minotaurs like it. Stand no chance against the mighty Minotaurs. That's the way. Not that needing having great weapons against some dudes with 32 armor is not really a big help, but meh. Oh, he exploded. Oh, I lost a Minotaur somewhere amongst that little melee as well. It's alright. Totally worth it. Alright, with the Angor Raiders arriving, now there's a really good chance that what will happen here, they will just stay and defend the... Uh, town Square and not actually come riding out. Seen it happen that way plenty of time before, so what we do is try and get the Angor Raiders in range to just fire at them and see what happens. Well, the Minotaur, Minotaurs came back again, eh? We lost another Minotaur. I'm quite disappointed in that. This should get us into a position to shoot at the Grail Knights. Which should be where most of their balance of power really is now. I would have thought so, anyway. Oh, no, they are actually coming out. There you go. Well, maybe. Maybe not. We'll do is we're gonna get the remainder of all of these guys into those Knights of the Realm rather than fighting our Angor Raiders. I 
me wrong. These guys aren't exactly great fighters or anything, but... There. Now let's face it. Core lines don't matter too much. So let's, let's get them shooting at the uh, Knights of the Realm as well. There will be innocent lives lost, and they will be Bretonians. Yes, we'll be shooting quite a few of our own guys in this, but that's all right. All right, they've now shattered, and there we go. We didn't have to actually fight the Grail Knights as well. That's good. Good, good. Grail Knights is where significant losses would have been made. Only 23 losses, that's pretty good. Uh, Minotaur's dished out a significant amount of pain, that's good to see. <coughs> So much for a Pyrrhic victory. Now, we do need the money, but we're going to raise a herdstone here. Got some damaged buildings over here, but that's not too bad. That's okay. Uh, we want Malagor to kill... Who's here? Elithanar. Oh, nice. Excellent. That's very good for us. We'll take whatever money he can give us. Oh, we could uh, put ourselves a banner of swiftness as well. Hero action cost minus 15% local region. Hero action success chance plus 10 local region. That's actually a pretty rubbish trait. Alright, we're going to hit that circle of destruction in the next turn. What's your army looking like? It's a bit trash. Hag Hall only has nine. So we'll hit Hag Hall then. So, so even a trash army can take out that. A Pyrrhic victory but low casualties. That doesn't sound right. But whatever. And we will raise a herdstone here as well. The two herdstones raised. Lovely. to use up some of that precious money that we have built now to actually put buildings on these two headstones. Gonna get him to get this one because I want him to have some war gores, which of course means we have even less money, but whatever. Gotta gotta do these things sometimes. Uh, yep, damage building. It's fine. On assigned skill points. Oh, you've made it through mortality. Congratulations. You can have a couple of things to help you stay alive. Uh, yep. <coughs> that's actually really good because that's an immortal uh, magic user. All right, Torox, my friend. Such a great guy you are. Let's go destroy a gate, shall we? Yes, we'll declare war on them. We're declaring war on everyone this turn. So why not add another one? Close victory. We're not going to lose anyone. Casualty is low. Right? Oh, good. And we'll loot and raise. That's good. Is he in a rampage at the moment? He's not. Bummer. 
Tor Torox wants Wheaties. It's good. Alrighty. Lovely. More destruction for Torox. Just what he wants. Alright. Now, this guy is looking really good. Level 33. We'll start him in some of the less useful things now. Level 33 for him. Because he gets to start in the completely useless things as far as I'm concerned. Gorbal. Yep. He can now start his training regime. Yeah, because that's going to help. Shit, shit skill. But there's not much else I can do with him. Alright, we'll give him that. I give that to all of my... All of them at some stage, but I like to wait until we've completed that and that first. How many gorbals do I have? Oh, a fair few. How many more can I get? None at the moment. Boo. Boo. But I've made it up to 966 dread, which is cool. How am I doing here? Okay, so I need 2,200 for that purchase. So we'll leave that for now. And now we've got 8,700 gold again. So kept them at bay at least. I don't know where the sort of cane has gone. Oh, it's down here now. Ah, uh, well, it'll take some chasing down, but we'll worry about that later. I'll upgrade these two buildings. So we'll finish out our blood ground here, and we'll create another one, probably Torkarali. And we'll uh, continue slaughtering the animals. Yes, yes. <laughs> that might make them turn the sort of cane around as well. Come back and play. All right, I think that is it for this turn. That's pretty productive there. Herdstones raised, wars created, death dealt. Always a good thing. I'll be losing that herdstone, which is fine. Let's see what kind of chaos and mayhem I can cause around this direction. Ooh, hello. Could it even be that I'll actually end up getting Kazrak killed and all of everything around here returned? to a non-chaos state. But again, that's perfectly fine if that happens. <coughs> that just means we start with him again over in the uh, over in the west. Which is where I'm more interested in actually uh, getting stuff done, so would be kind of a benefit. Now, how close are we to a rampage? We're very close to a rampage. So if we take him out, that's good. Will that give us a rampage? Yes, ramp harsh rampage achieved. We'll take that reward, please. Go into Juggernaut mode, and we're going to hit him. Yes, Juggernaut mode for you. Guard and such things. Don't care. You die. Whoa, Ooh, Talisman of Preservation. Hello. Uh, that could go, that would be very good to give to somebody, I think, in Torox's army. Level 34 Gorbal can do with a Talisman of Preservation, I think. Oh, no. Cancel. Torox wants Wheaties. I'm not going to... 
I'll perform. I will perform that ritual. There we go. That's good. Yep, that's fine. They can stay damaged. You head that way, my friend. All right, this war gore. You get some more spreading of corruption. You get to do more training. Don't be wrong, when you've got this many Minotaurs in a stack, I'm sure the training actually builds up. But I tell you what, it doesn't matter. Go for the his top line. Uh, more unnatural thirst. That's what you need too, I think. Yes. Got that ritual completed. Right, back up to a decent amount of gold. Let's go wipe out Ashrock Gorge. Very good for Morgo doing that. Very good for our bank account. Ritual is now ready at Hag Hall. Um, or do I want to take Bleak Hold Fortress before I actually run the ritual? Plane of Dogs is outside that zone, so that's fine. Mm, no, I just think I'll just run the ritual. I do a lot of that before the uh, timer is up on the rituals. As you probably noticed. But I think it's worth it. Alright, Kazrak. Unholy resilience. I am a Lord of Bretonia. Okay, Never. the Lord of Bretonia. It's now in there. I think what I should do is go this way. Now they'll probably destroy that over the end turn and that's actually perfectly fine so what we get to do is a bit of rampaging about the place <coughs> excuse me which is fun all on its own so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of some of these so you can still have more gores and that sort of stuff um, i actually think that'll probably be better in his army one of them, two of them, no, not two of them. So two of them. Best of gores and some more gore herds. I think they'll be a bit, bit better for him. Uh, can we get... No, we a max of all of those. So that'll just have to wait. Primal instincts for that particular fella. Now this is Malagor, so I will want him to get that building. And definitely that building. You're not getting any buildings, but part of that's because, well... You just can't. It's too bad. Alright, so let's see. Horrible regeneration for Chaos Spawn units. That's actually really good for Chaos Spawn as well. And Java Slice, which I'm, I am going to be putting in his army. Oh, campaign movement range is very good. Uh, let's go with that one first. I do. I will get him touch of corruption. So it can't hurt. Uh, he's on low bestial rage. That's okay though. More oh, savage dominion there. He's on low beast your rage, that's also fine, that's all good. Alrighty, so we've had a few battles in this one. And that's gonna be it for this episode. So hopefully it has been relatively entertaining. And etc. And I will see you in the next episode where our mighty friend decides he needs to kill and destroy even more things.
Oh, he's got 10 momentum now. Anyway, hope you're enjoyable. Catch you later. I've been Ash Ninja. Bye-bye.